Amy's son is a New York City police detective, and she's investigating the murder of a woman who was once a kidnap and torture victim of a serial killer. Three years ago, that woman was rescued from a serial killer, almost like a scene out of a movie. The serial killer was murdered, and the leader of the SWAT team was made a hero. Three years later, that same woman is murdered under mysterious circumstances. And while she's investigating that murder, Amy uncovers some things about that lead detective, or I should say that lead uh, guy in the, on the SWAT team. After doing some digging and talking to a friend of the murdered woman, Amy was able to find out that that SWAT team leader was a stalker and not a good guy like he pretended to be. The murdered girl's friend gives Amy video evidence of this SWAT team leader being abusive toward Amy and to the friend himself. When Detective Sun brings this evidence to her captain, he just kind of poo-poos it and tells her to sit on it for a while and uh, he doesn't really want to make a big deal about it right now, right after the, the whole riots that happened last year and blah, 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 all this stuff. So basically he tells her to just, just sit on it for a while. So after Amy gets home, this dude is in her house. He is like waiting for her on her couch. Uh, to, to say that Amy is pissed is an understatement, but that just shows the arrogance and the entitlement and the way that some of these guys feel that they are bulletproof uh, when they're in these positions. And after that tense confrontation, Amy, of course, gives her a captain a call because she's no fool. She knows that she has been sold out. And she heads over to the detective's house, to the, uh, the, the, I'm sorry, to the SWAT leader's house to exact her own revenge because she's saying like, hey, two can play at that game. But as fate would have it, uh, karma has already been served uh, to this SWAT team leader and it is served up beautifully. This may be the favorite thing uh, or my favorite thing by Garth Ennis in a while. Uh, I have loved, of course, Preacher and The Boys and The Boys sequels, uh, but there were some things in between that I did not like as much, but I, I like this a lot. Uh, this is like a police procedural done by Garth Ennis, and this is the only kind of police procedural I would ever consider watching if it were on television. So I, I think I'm going to stick with this. Uh, the Ribbon Queen is has my attention in this first issue. I like it a lot. So I'll be definitely checking out the, the next issues to see where it goes. This is um, this is some pretty good stuff. So that's going to do it for this Indie Comics review. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And turn notifications on so you know when I'm making my next video. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the funny papers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.